Adding layers to your scene is like a chef creating a flavorful meal. It requires patience, experience, and precision. Adding too much seasoning may ruin a meal, while having just enough can bring a meal to life. In the same way in filmmaking, accent lights, when used just right, can turn a scene from basic to extraordinary. In this breakdown, I'm gonna show you how accent lights can enhance any lighting setup. Throughout all of these scenes, we will have our 45 degree angle key utilizing a Godox SL200 with a parabolic softbox and a honeycomb grid. Also, we shot this on the Red Scarlet with the Sigma 18 to 35 at an F2 and 800 ISO the whole way. Look at how much accent lights play a role in this first scene. Now here's with them off, a much different scene. Immediately, you can see how much life, depth, and perspective the accent lights brought this scene. Let's start with the first accent light, which was a Nanlite Pablo 230C leaned up inside of the closet. Just like cooking, sometimes all you need is a little bit of salt to bring a dish from good to better. That's what we did here. Our tube was barely at 10%, and at 2800 Kelvin acting as a warm tungsten light that is usually found in closets. Let's take a look at the next accent light. Off, on. Huge difference. You can also see the amount of ambient light it brought to the whole room. For this, we splashed the Godox SL200 with the reflector dish through the window blinds, giving the wall some really nice texture and also lifting up the ambience of the room. Also to enhance the contrast, we used the black V-flat creating a nice shadow on my face. Let's check out the next scene. This one has the same vibe as the previous. Anytime we can create a blind effect on the wall or subject, we're gonna make it happen. This one was very simple using only two lights. Same idea as the previous with the Godox SL200 and the reflector dish slashing light on the back wall. It was also angled just right to slash that same texture on my face, creating a cool stylistic look. We also had our key right outside our window, giving a lift in the shadows and ambience of the room. Much different scene with the accent light turned off. Adding layers and precise slashes of accent lights is the best way to make your scenes more natural and high quality. Moving on to our last scene, we have a few different layers in this one. Let's cut them off and start from scratch. Our base, just like the other scenes, is our softbox key light, 45 degrees, from me. We also have a little Christmas village going on in the back corner. We turned on the Godox SL200 outside the window facing a magnolia tree, providing interest and depth throughout the scene. And the last accent light was a cabinet light in my kitchen. If you don't have a cabinet light like this, you can easily use a handheld light, like an Aperture MC, or a small tube light, and use gaff tape or command strips to place it where you need it. Now into the real world, where we used accent lights to make this scene pop. For this podcast interview setup, we had our key lights in place, but as you can tell, no interest in the background. We had a couple of accent lights. The first one was our Godox spotlight attachment hitting the back wall. The next one was a bare bulb Amaran 200X with the door lightly cracked to give that nice slash on the floor and some much needed ambient fill. And lastly, we placed two tube lights on the ground, one at 2700 Kelvin hitting the bottom of the table leg, bringing up the shadows and another tube at 5600 Kelvin hitting the wall directly behind Dean's head, also raising up the shadows. Let's flip the cam angle to our man, Sean Jackson. Same idea. Great looking key, but no background interest. We dropped in some Aperture MCs in the helmet case, directly behind them at roughly 20 to 30%. Remember, sometimes all you need is a little seasoning when adding in accent lights. There isn't a right or wrong when adding in accent lights as they are subjective and an artistic choice, depending on the project. 
we encourage you guys to get out there and think of ways to add layers to your images. Use these practical tips on accent lighting to add depth, interest, and flavor to any project. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments below. We appreciate you guys a ton and we will see you in the next one.